Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today, I'm ashamed. Ring the shame bell, ring the shame bell. I couldn't help myself pick up the Beauty Bay and like earthy and midnight palette, all right? I couldn't help myself. So yeah, today I just thought I'd just quickly show you the ones I picked up and just kind of give you a few swatches, my first initial thoughts. I'm not going to be applying them to the face. If you want to see me apply them to the face, then obviously holler at me in the comments down below. But I just wanted to do a really quick video to be like, hey, I bought them. These are like my quick hot takes on them, why I bought them, blah, 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 blah. If that sounds good to you, then keep on watching. And if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Meg and I like to talk about all things makeup, skincare, haircare, homeware and fashion. I talk about them all in some capacity on this channel. So if that sounds like a little bit of you and hit subscribe and join the family arm, join the circle of trust. Now let's get into this. Okay, just as a side note, I purchased this in my Beauty Bay haul because it was on sale and I really liked it. It's from Kitsch. It's the Cleanse and Prep headband. Um, it basically looks like this. So you like that looks like that. I just want to apply it to my head. Apply it to my head. I want to put it on my head. I want to look how this oh, it feels really soft. Like this. I probably wouldn't put it on when I'm applying makeup in all fairness because I feel like a little bit like an egg right now but I would put this on when washing my face like properly cleansing makeup off my face and applying face masks sometimes face masks like your hair can just and then you're like trying to peel your hair out and trying to like wash a strand of hair you know I don't own anything like this I own like the elastic ones that you have to pull over your head but they slip off I'm hoping this does me well so what are my initial thoughts on these first of all um, I have beef with Beauty Bay of why they made this one a 16 and then these ones 42. Why? 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 Beauty Bay. I would have bought a full size of the Berries palette if they did it, but this was the biggest one. They had the £9, which I feel like if you're after the £9, then great. Um, but I wanted the bigger one to have all selection because, I, you know, more is more. This is really beautiful. It is quite similar to the new Romantic. I feel like they could have leaned into, like, the peachy pink vibes and possibly do, like, an orange, orange, pink, purple berry vibe i feel like that could have been really really cute like reds pinks sort of berry tones and like orangey peaches i feel like that could have been a 42 pan palette in itself i feel like the opportunity was missed there and i just feel like this i didn't want to buy this one the most because i was like then it won't fit in with like these two so i was a little bit upset by that but you know moving on i'm also not that obsessed with the packaging i know you're gonna be like is there anything this girl likes about these palettes um yes i love the color story and i love the formulation i'm not obsessed with the packaging i feel like it's a little bit boring a little bit lazy a little bit like like i could have knocked this out in 30 minutes not even 30 minutes like 10 minutes it's literally just writing that says earthy on it i feel like it was just a little like you know even a simple pattern in the background would have been nice something i feel like it's a little bit basic and i'm not that impressed i love the color but not that impressed of just like text you know like surely beauty baby we could have done we could have done better than this i wasn't expecting you know like this is the 42 pan jade palette like i wasn't expecting this level of graphic detail you know like this someone has sat down and taken time with you know they've taken their time with this everything about it is beautiful i get that they probably didn't want to do something like this they just wanted to like put in their core line something that was relatively cheap and easy to produce you know but like even the pastels palette it has like this lovely pastel background with the word pastels on it it's just like a little bit more eye-catching even new romantic like the font has got that swirly rose pattern on again i could have done this in photoshop in like literally 20 minutes myself so not that impressive um sunset horizons is the same or something like this would have been really really cute this is the book of magic this would have been really really nice if they'd done something like that or where's the wilderness like can you imagine this with like the wilderness background this would have looked so nice like a massive tree trunk perhaps like looking at the tree trunk from um bird's eye view and it said earthy on it that would have looked so nice and then maybe the midnight palette could have just had some stars in the background you know just something and maybe berries could have just had like some nice cute circles on to represent berries or like little clusters of blackberries or something like the cartoon style of just circles 
something even if it was like the new romantic and just had a bit of texture in i just feel like these are a tiny bit basic you're not paying less because the packaging is less and that's like where my problem lies a little bit i just think it's a bit lazy we'll start with the berries palette because it's the easiest for me to deal with because it's the smallest and this is what the palette looks like really really pretty i love the uh depth and brightness it has the what's it called the contrast i really really like that so you've got these nice bright tones um here really light tones really deep tones it's just like a really nice formulated palette i feel like i get a lot of looks out of this similar palettes would be i think the new romantic is probably the closest to it when you compare them like yeah there's a few shades there that are probably similar especially these two middle rows are probably similar to this side but i feel like if you had this or you know if you had this then you wouldn't need this like that's probably true but if you had this and you got this i think you do get something more out of it um but i don't think you need both if i'm perfectly honest like i think they're gonna offer you something very similar maybe a bit too similar in my personal opinion but this one is actually discontinued now so if you didn't get your hands on the new romantic then this one would be i'd say like a good backup for it or a good replacement i've also got here the love notes palette i will just let you know that these are nothing alike at all uh, maybe there's like one or two shades in here that kind of dupe this but these aren't similar at all i think if you had both of these then you're not you, you're not duping yourself out by any means this is more like lavender and soapy tones this is more like berries and pinks so yeah i think these are very different so going on to the midnight palette this honestly is stunning I absolutely love these I think honestly in my personal opinion like this whole collection the larger palettes didn't have to be 42 they could have been 20 pans and I think it would have looked great the 20 pan palettes by the way are these ones here I think it would have fit in better with the rest of their stuff I think the 20 pan palettes are much more collectible and less scary these ones are absolutely huge and honestly like there was some part of me that didn't want to buy them because they are so big um and it's kind of one of those things where the 16 and 42 there's such a difference in them that i felt like i was missing out on the majority of the colors which is why i didn't want to buy three of these in the same size so um these are beautiful i love the blues in here and i love the purples in here i do feel like a couple of these purples are slightly redundant if i'm honest the blues i don't feel that way so much i've got to say the age of opulence is similar but honestly because of the amount of neutral tones and gold tones you get in here i think if you had this then you could get this and it wouldn't be similar but you do have quite a lot of shades like you have the blues and the purples in this palette if you didn't want any more than that then like you don't need this palette but if you had this palette i don't think you dupe the age of opulence because of all the golds and neutrals in this so i think they're very they're not similar but like they're kind of in the same family I would kind of say oh these are like cousins but they're not brother and sister you know they're not the same but they have some similarities in them that you could kind of say if you wanted specifically purples then i'd go to this palette like purples and blues this palette but if you wanted a bit of everything then this palette is better but you can kind of see the tones of those purples and blues are similar you can see similarities in them i'd say the same goes for book of magic i think book of magic is actually closer to this palette than age of opulence again you have a couple of neutrals and gold tones in there um and tealy tones whereas this one you don't really have tealy it's just blue and purple um but you kind of get similarities again it's like cousins they're not twins they're not sister and brother they're not sisters you know whatever they are very much cousins in this relationship let me see if i got both of these up i feel like i'm going to drop some one of these palettes at any given point to be honest it's making me slightly nervous when i hold these two up here so this is the age of opulence on the bottom and book of magic on top and i compare it to this one here um I, unless you've got specific shades in here that you like and for me there are some specific shades that i like in here and i'll swatch them all for you at the moment which are the ones that really drew me into this palette but honestly i don't think you need this one as well like i don't think that there's anything particularly you're missing unless like i said there's a particular shade that you've got your eye on i think you pretty much have this palette between these two plus the neutrals as well so again they come from the same family are they the same no they're not the same but they do come from the same the same jeans so that's that palette let's just finally talk about the earthy palette which honestly is the one i love the most but that is because i am a complete slot bag for a green eyeshadow okay this to me is like oh, la, 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 la. i love it so you've got here i'd say four sh four rows even of greens and then two rows of ugh, kind of 
natural brown tones and like a brownish red at the bottom here this is a gorgina palette um and i think that the only palette that possibly compares to it is the wilderness I think the Wilderness is the closest to it. I think you're probably duping yourself a little bit with this palette and this palette because you have the reddy brown tones down here and the reddy brown tones here. You have a couple of blue tones that you don't have in here, but honestly, like, whatever. There's only two blue tones, well, three blue tones in here, and the rest of it is green and brown. So yeah, you are duping yourself a little bit by buying this. If you love green, then I don't think you'll mind duping yourself out a little bit because I certainly don't, like... I saw someone swatch the Wilderness palette up against the Earthy palette and about five of these shades, or maybe even eight, practically half this palette was duped out in that big one. But I don't mind because I really like this palette as a capsule palette and I really liked this palette as it was, you know, just standalone anyway. So yeah, let's talk about what made me really like these palettes, like the curb appeal for me. So starting with the Berry palette, there are a few shades in here that really appeal to me. Honestly, like... I don't really apply these colours to my eyes that often, um, so this for me was kind of just like, oh yeah, I want to buy it because I want it as part of the collection and, you know, like experience these shades as well. This shade here, this shade here, this shade here, like all the shimmers really, really attracted to me to it. So I'm just going to apply them to the back of my hand now and just walk you through which shades were like the ones that screamed to me. Okay, so I have eight swatched out here. You're probably thinking, Megan, that's literally half of the palette, but I just wanted to show you the colours that I'm most excited for in terms of the ones that make me go ooh, you know what makes me go ooh. <laughs> i'll just go down and name the shades of what they are then i can show you in the palette so this one here is called cloud and i think this is such a beautiful light shimmery shade this one here is called sofa one that i was really really excited for because it's like a really lovely peachy fiery pink then we have this one here which was claret which is really bright red which is really unique this one here is journal we then have this one here, which is Jura, which is actually metallic. And as I swatched it, I was a little bit disappointed in that one because I thought it was going to give me a little bit more of a reflect. So kind of dis disowning that one from the excitement there. But it excited me when I looked at it. We then have this really bright pop called Macron or Macroon, however you say it. This one here um, is Daiquiri. And then this one here is Loyalty. So yeah, we have half of the palette on my hand here, um, but that, you know, that's not helped because it's a 16 pan eyeshadow palette. Um, it is really, really lovely. When swatching it, it's just the same good formula that Beauty Bay have. But things like this, like this kind of like weird magenta shade, just don't like i'm not going to apply that to my lids that often so it doesn't really excite me these pastel shades up here although they're lovely they don't excite me and then you kind of got like the mid-toned rosy shades which are nice but i'm not even sure you probably the mid-tone rosy shades that are nice but they don't necessarily get me excited i get excited by things that are unique or sparkly and pretty that i just know i want to gravitate towards but these deep matte shades are lovely and these bright coral pops like that one there that what was that called the macaron shade like that's quite unique i don't actually own a lot of those shades and that's thing i could see myself applying all through the crease and then be putting a light shimmer on and a really deep intense like outer corner that's something i could see myself applying so this is a really nice palette the consistency of it's really nice you can see in the swatches they're really pigmented um and i think i'm going to really enjoy applying this like i said i just wish i feel like an opportunity was missed here of going into some really lovely oranges um you know having like pinks reds berry purpley maroon tones and like some orangey peaches i think that would have looked so so nice like leaning into this family a little bit more the peachy shades and going maybe a little bit orangey to purple and then having pink and red in the middle with those berry tones would have looked so nice. So God damn it, Beauty Bay. I would have loved it even more if it had a little bit more variety to it. Similar to like the Earthy palette and the Midnight palette, you can see like a real difference in colors, you know, like the browns, the greens and the gradients. So let me just wash this off my hands and then we'll go into what pulled me into the other palettes. So next up we have the Midnight palette. I've actually already gone off and swatched these all in the back of my hand. I just wanna show you the selection here and I'll just kind of go through and point to the shades that kind of excited me the most. But as you can see, there's a lot of blues that are really different here. So you've got like lovely TD blues, bright cobalt, cobalt, cobalt blues, lovely like cyan blues, aqua, steely, like a lot of variation in the blue, in my personal opinion, like a lot of different blues. In the purple, I have to be honest, there's, <laughs> It's a lot of the same, samey purple. So there's a couple of like periwinkle, bluey purples here, like blurple shades, but there's not a lot of it. There's like lavender, 
and then straight up purple there isn't a lot of cool toned purples warm toned purples like there is for the blue section just to kind of point to the ones that i thought were the most interesting was this one here which is called lavender um this one here called mystic this one here called voodoo looks really lovely um this one here called jellies this one here called iris rich looks lovely electric periwinkle look beautiful as well um gleam is that gleam looks lovely so those are the ones i swatched on this hand here um to try and get some variety of purple there i feel like yeah like the purples are pretty nice but like i said the variation of the blues is something else so we look at the blues and i swatched this one here called cursed sky ocean shield queen uh what's that one cosmic oh cosmic steel um bubbles um what's that one denim and c like i swatched quite a few sorry if that was like really like skew if now frame you can see the difference of tonal blues in here i think it's really really nice so i really like this palette and just from the swatches that i can see here on my hands i think i want to have a really fun time with this i do think i'm going to lean more into this palette for the blues than i am for the purples if i'm just straight up i think i'd probably go for like a blue look and then throw some purples in with it it's just one of those things where I just prefer the different tones of the blues in this palette. It's a really, really nice purple palette if you did want some purples. I really, really like this palette. Let me show you the swatches that I did of this. Obviously, predominantly is green because these are the shades that really pulled me into this palette. This hand here is like utter perfection. Look at that. Look at that. And then this here is actually, I love all of these neutrals. Like that neutral champagne shimmers just look at all of those i think together these are just like the shades that really excite me but as i was swatching it i was kind of leaving out a couple of like the murky um like this one here is like a khaki green and this one here is like a khaki green but this one's more brown than this one and i would want to swatch all of them to be honest but i was like okay i'm gonna swatch the ones that literally jump out at me so like i did for the other palette i'll just point to the ones instead of going down my swatches so this one here ivy screams to me so did this one sage um, this one, Cobra, was quite interesting. This is like sagey green. Um, what's the next one? This one, Moss, is beautiful. This moss shade is stunning. It's like a deep forest green with gold and glitter through it. Um, pine is beautiful. Um, Fern and Leafy, these two here, are really beautiful as well. And so is Ray. That is stunning. Uh, lime, Acid is one I really want to swatch as well, but I can swatch all of them. Lime is absolutely something I picked up this palette for. When I saw Lime, I was like, I want that on my lid. Lime is beautiful. Corduroy is stunning. I swatched Carver. Um, Pickle is lovely. I didn't swatch that one. Um, Folklore is lovely. Eucalyptus. Um, Satellite, stunning. Um, this one here is it herd herd is stunning too but i didn't swatch it um i didn't swatch any of these i swatched baked that was like a really nice that orangey shade right at the top top bit here the top of my like pinky knuckle that one there um these two reds i swatched this one i swatched and this one i swatched so i swatched palm and fizz again those lovely like neutral like brown toned shimmers that just go across the lid so beautifully I love this palette the most. Out of all three of these palettes, I love this one the most because it's the one I'm probably gonna apply day to day. Like I love swampy greens. I love any type of green. Green eyeshadow, it's my boo. I really like these palettes. I'm glad I picked them up. Like I said, I have the rest of the Beauty Bay palettes. If you'd like to see me ranking my Beauty Bay palettes, I'm more than happy to do so. But I didn't wanna apply this. I didn't wanna swatch all of the shades because it's been done, it's been out for a while. I just decided to pull the trigger a little bit later um, because I was trying to hold off and I was like, I can't, I want them, I'm gonna get them. So I did, okay, so shame, I know, ring the shame bell. Let me know if you bought these palettes, if you picked any of them up, did you pick just the smaller ones up? Did you pick like me, the two big and the little medium one? Did you pick up just the nine pans? Did you 16 what did you pick up i'd really like to know if you picked up any of the three new palettes by beauty bay and if you're thinking about it i know i did get a comment from someone that was like are you gonna get these and then i replied like oh honey i really want to like i really really want to so um yeah let me know if you did pick them up or you want to pick them up which ones you do just a whole conversation about these palettes would be really great i'd like to know what people's opinions are if you do want to see me apply any of these palettes to the face and do just let me know in the comments if not i'll just put them in my collection and apply them as i please and i might put them in a video like along the line just you know throw an eyeshadow on my face i don't know um but yeah 
thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate you hope you found this video a little bit interesting even a tiny bit thumbs this video up if you have enjoyed hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and ring the bell so you'll be notified of all the videos i upload i upload three to four videos a week so yeah ring the bell if you'll be notified on any more content from me take care guys stay safe and i'll see you in my next one bye